Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Verse Play, and this time around we're checking out a ROM hack. I don't check out a whole lot of ROM hacks, but I'm a big fan of, of course, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and this is a ROM hack that recently was released over at ROMHacking.net, and that is Mike Tyson's Punch Out 2015. Now, uh, this version of the game uh, is remixed, basically. Uh, it has all the same fighters in the same order, nothing changed along with all that. Uh, but the patterns, apparently, have been uh, changed up a bit. Uh, basically, the way the, the ROMHacking.net description of it goes, the earlier characters are harder, and the later ones are easier, including Mike Tyson himself being especially more easy to manage. Also, the colors have been changed about, as you can clearly see. So let's kick it off with Glass Joe. Wow, okay, so Glass Joe immediately actually attacks in this one, which is kind of surprising. Uh, Glass Joe usually waits the first 30 seconds or whatever before he even uh, does his little backup and then charges forward, which, of course, if you time correctly, can instantly knock him out. Like right here. Which I got the knockdown, but I, the timings, I'm way off on the timing here. If that's still even a thing in this ROM hack, yeah, he's, he's getting right back up. So he's definitely very similar, but the fact that he's more aggressive, at least especially early on in this fight, I'm just gonna go ahead and star punch him down. I have, of course, played Mike Tyson's Punch Out a ton. A ton. Uh, and I used to be really, really, really good. I'm not really that good anymore. Usually Super Macho Man seems to have my number, no matter whether I'm drunk or sober playing the game. Uh, Super Macho Man just will always, uh, always kick my ass, so we'll uh, see how that goes. That Star Punch, boom! That is the end of Glass Joe. I do like the little changes here, though, with him. Um, like I said, this is not going to be some spectacular remix of the game. I'm not expecting a whole lot from it, but I do like the just making the colors change a tiny bit. So let's move on to Von Kaiser, who, uh, honestly, I think is easier than Glass Joe. <laughs> the more and more you play punch out, mainly because of the instant knock. The Oh, wow, I actually didn't get... Okay. Wow, I didn't get the star punch. And Okay, so he's definitely changed up. Normally, he doesn't start with the uh, the crouching uppercut, so that's changed up definitely. Seems to be a little bit tougher. There we go. There's my star. So once... Damn. Okay, you got, like, really quick timing in order to actually get him into, a, like, a stun stage. And once you do, of course, the star punch will always knock Von Kaiser on his ass. Um, okay, let's see if I can get the star... Oh, I got it that time. That time I was at, wow, okay, so they definitely made him faster and more able to dodge, so that's cool. Still, you know, the basic same fighter here, but there's, there's little, little changes. I do, I can dig that. Just need that one more, oh, okay, cool, Star Bunch. Oh, nope, didn't get it again. There we go, boom, Von Kaiser, you are done, son. Let's move on to uh, good old Piston Honda. It's kind of funny uh, actually hearing that little ditty right there of the title bath song. I've been playing a lot of the special limited edition from Japan that was a giveaway uh, that I had bought a few few months ago back at a convention. Uh, and that actually has a different version, like a different song that plays there just for the title battle. Like the only difference as far as music goes between that rare Japanese version and the US version is that. But you know, I haven't heard that title bout thing and, and little ditty in a little while. Okay, so already a bunch of changes here with uh, Piston Honda early on with the, the quickness of the jabs. Same basic motions, though. Oh, okay, now the... Oh, oh thank you. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Apparently, he goes on a freaking jab barrage. <laughs> After he does his uh, little eyebrow. There you go. Eat the canvas a little bit. Enjoy it. Laying out. And you're just going to do a two count? Okay, that's fine. Let's... Come on, bring it back on. We got this. We got oh, okay. See now the normal the normal straight jab with the eyebrow raise. I guess uh did they I guess they eliminated he hasn't done it yet. I'm guessing he eliminated the backup and then come into the whole jab barrage. Uh so instead they just replaced it with a very quick. So it makes it a lot tougher to like be ready for and uh, be prepared for, so it's kind of cool. Also, of course, if he does the jump back and then into the charge forward, 
um, that you can instantly knock him down. So it's interesting they got rid of that. I guess they also probably are going to get rid of that for the later version as well, uh, for the rematch. Okay, so the first one to actually take me to round two. Let me use my good old select button. I want to get a little bit of my health back that I've lost. Thankfully, I haven't lost too much. Good old round two. Let's go. Wow, thank you, game. Thank you. Now, I know some ROM hacks have actually edited that so you get, like, no health back or very little. Like, it's set to be very little. But, boom! Very early star punch. And right back up at that one count. Okay, come on. Thankfully, the timing on those star punch... Okay, cool. That's something that happens. I, I don't know the exact... If it's after you've knocked him down a few times, does the star punch automatically start knocking him down? Uh, I, that's something that I, has always happened that I've noticed when I play the game is once you get to a certain point with the piston, there it goes, he's done. Uh, with the piston Honda fights is the star punch will instantly knock him down at certain points, but it doesn't seem to happen until I guess a certain amount of damage has been done, or at least from what I've noticed. We have a new champion. There we go. There's the class. Nothing changed here in the color scheme. I'm surprised they didn't like change this into uh, something. I don't know. Maybe dusk or morning. Add a sun to the background, like a rising sun or setting sun. I don't. Whatever. Next up is the good old Major Circuit. I like the color scheme here. I like the uh, kind of baby blue on the mat, though Mario's hat looks especially weird. That green hat, I don't know, there's something about it. Okay, Don Flamingo, one of the easiest fights in the entire game. Oh, well, then not in this one. There we go. Now can I get the uh, same? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So the alternate punching still works. Perfectly fine once you've been able to hit him that one time and get him to do the swing You can catch him right in there, but he caught me that was he almost got me with that initial jab like instead of going right into the You know the block block loop He went right for that jab so okay I'm right to the uppercut which that's normal and then boom good night Good chance unless he's changed it with the rum Let's see Usually there's a good chance you can just do a knockout right then and there and they're cool, so... Victory is mine! Don Flamingo changed a tiny bit. That Mainly that first jab, I, I didn't give him much of a chance uh, to really get going, so I don't know all else was what was changed uh, with the ROM hack, but we're gonna jump right into King Hippo. Probably one of the most, if not the most iconic character from, from the Punch-Out universe, especially, of course, being Captain N. Everyone loves King Hippo, right? And apparently King Hippo dances, and... That was interesting. I like the little dance. Is that, like, is that in Punch-Out at all? Like, normally? I don't remember that. So, everyone knows King Hippo. You gotta do the punch when he raises his hand to the big old punch. And then punch him all lot right in the stomach as he tries to pull up his pants. You gotta hit him 32 times in order to uh, knock him on his butt. Because once you knock him down, because he's so fat... King Hippo will go down, unless somehow ROM hacking has finally figured out. Because one thing with ROM hacking that I've played a couple other, there it is, good old 32 punches, and I don't think he's going to be able to get up. I play a lot of ROM hacks, and I've always wondered if they ever figured out a way to ROM hack it to actually allow King Hippo to get up for, you know, after you knock him down once, but it doesn't. that's not the case even with this one. Though I have to say, the fight was, uh, he did the, uh, he did, like, his, his major overhand punch, uh, a lot less during that fight. Like, he did it once, and then he took a little bit of a break from it. So, I don't know if that was what was really kind of changed, or just really bad luck on my part. Now, Grey Tiger is a character that I do exceptionally well on. I, like, a lot of people, of course, you want to dodge the Flashing Jewel... But I've gotten so used to just getting star punches from the Flashing Jewel, so... Grey Tiger is one of the, my best fights in, in Punch-Out. Like, I, I kick the crap out of Grey Tiger. 
My goal is always to get the uh, the TKO on Great Tiger before he even does his uh, his Mirage Punch. I messed that up. I should have gone for the star there. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Instantly knocked down on that one. I wasn't expecting that. I was uh, figured he would have been able to survive that instead of going right down from the star punch. But And we're still like another... 50 seconds because it's like 2 minutes and 20 2 minutes and 30 seconds or whatever is what it is when he does it when he does the uh, mirage punch and boom there it is wow 2 minutes they made him a lot easier it feels like I get, he's already an easy fight he's already one of my better ones but I feel like he got made even easier so that means it's time for ball bull Let's see if they changed up the bull rush it'd be interesting if, like right the fight starts it's just like immediately in the bull rush that would be how I would start it. If I was going to, like, ROM hack it, I'd just have him immediately start off with the bull rush and boom, right in the gut and just end the fight. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting that he actually gets stunned from the jab. Usually he does the twirl and then jab, and if you dodge it, you get one hit on him. Not usually the multiples, if I'm correct. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe you always get that. It doesn't feel like it though. I think you, you only do the one punch and then not until he starts doing the uh, the hook and then the uppercut can you get multi punches. But okay, still pretty similar beginning of the ball bull fight. Uh, maybe a little bit easier because of uh, because of that. One of the things I always found I found interesting recently that I I never knew as a kid and apparently with ball bull. When he does his bull rush, there's a flash, like a camera flash, in the upper right corner of the crowd. Like, in the crowd, they're in like, you know, so to the right of him. Uh, and that's supposed to be your signal to know to get ready to punch during the bull rush, which is something I never, ever noticed as a kid, and I never heard anyone even mention as a strat. I'm waiting for him to actually, hopefully, do a bull rush, so I can actually get to see it. Go ahead and dodge out. Come on, Ball Bull, do the Bull Rush one time for me. There we go. And, yep, see? It's on that upper right corner. You, you look out for it. That happens in the regular game, too. That's not like it was added for this ROM hack or something. Uh, and I think it only does it during this one. I don't know if it does it during the second Ball Bull. I think it's only during this one, but that happens every time. It's supposed to, like I said, it's supposed to be a thing from the programmers to kind of help you out. But since I guess no one noticed it, I guess it really didn't help anyone out. There's probably some guy who's like, yeah, I always know that. I was like, I've been a pro at punch out since like, you know, 1980, like eight. I'm like the master. I know every strat. The fun thing about actually, <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh, but fun thing about punch out now is like, if you watch some of the really good speed runners, and I'm, I'm like I said, I'm pretty good at punch out, but I'm not amazing. You watch some of the really good guys who can speedrun uh, punch out. Now the fact that some people have done the whole game blind, like blindfolded, it just is, is pretty awesome. Punch out is an amazing, amazing game. I wish, uh, I wish they, I, I would you know how Nintendo could have saved their E3 2015 conference for me. Had announced a new punch out, like that would have been perfect. Okay, I like the uh, we got another kind of like uh, gr mint, minty canvas going on now in the world circuit. So my guess with the Piston Honda here, he's not going to do the jump back and then the charge forward just like that first uh, Piston Honda. Oh, but he goes, okay, so he goes right into a really quick jab combo, which does happen in the second Piston Honda, but it's the straight jabs. Instead of doing just one straight jab after the eyebrow, he does three in a row, but he doesn't do them that quickly. Like, that was a lot quicker than normal. Now, in the second Piston Honda, everyone knows you can jump. When he jumps back and then comes forward, he does it a lot quicker in the second fight. But if you're able to time it just right and knock him down instantly, it's an instant KO no matter what. No matter what part of the fight it is, if it's from the first time he jumps back or, you know, in the third round he jumps back and comes forward. If you can get the inst knock him down from that charge forward, it's an instant win. I have a feeling I'm gonna do this video and then people in the comments are gonna be like, do do a playthrough for the real the actual punch out. And it's like I I, I just I've never 
I, I've been wanting to do that for so long, but I don't know. It's kind of like on that that list of elite games that I don't know if I will ever uh, that I'm like afraid to actually do videos for. Especially now that people see me on the stream and I fail constantly at Super Macho Man, especially while extremely drunk. Um, <laughs> people are gonna be like, "Oh, you can't do it on your stream, but all oh, you did a video for it. You're an, you know, you're a cheater." Uh, there's there's people that always love to throw those comments at me. This fight isn't too much different. I guess he's a little bit more aggressive, and not jumping back and coming forward makes it uh, a bit more challenging. It's one of those deals that instant knockout works so well when sober, and I can never hit it when I'm drunk. <laughs> That's why this Punch Out is one of the best games to play. If you're good at it, the best, one of the best types of games to play, because it's all timing. So you can really see how test how drunk you are uh, with Punch Out, because it's all timing. You can see how bad your timing is. In fact, a lot of times, I do better against Soda Popinski because his timing's a little bit different than other fighters. So I do better against him while drunk than I do sometimes while sober. Wow, like no health here. Come on. Boom. And now, speaking of Soda Popinski, who is my favorite fighter in all of Punch-Out. I love Soda Popinski. I love him in the, the Punch-Out Wii game. Like, if there's one fighter from all of uh, Punch-Out that I wish also was like in Smash Brothers, Soda Popinski would be my choice. He's just the man. And of course he has the same laugh as Ganon from Legend of Zelda 2, so how can you not love him? So it starts off same normal, normal jabs. Or hooks, not jabs, hooks here. These are hooks. Curvy punches. He's got the curvy punches. Watch out for that uppercut. So yeah, there, there goes my like my timing. Like I just I end up screwing up <laughs> against Popinski. The timing ends up being weird. I always end up screwing up against him. Sometimes I'll get hit by three or four of those in a row. Thankfully, not this time yet. I have practiced him a little bit more, like, all, you know, not streaming and all that, because I've realized that you can get star punches against him a lot easier than I thought you could. Like, if you do, like, a combo like this and then go right into another punch af right afterwards, sometimes you can catch him off guard and get a star punch, which greatly helps you. Even though Popinski can dodge star punches sometimes, it still gives you a much uh, better chance, like, just right after a hook follow up after the hook with another punch immediately and you'll uh, nab yourself a star a lot of times. Whew, I barely got that punch in for that jab. I was just throwing a punch just to screw with him. I wasn't expecting to beat him that round. Damn, okay, cool. Cool. So that means bald bull number two. One of the weirdest fighters in this game because he cannot be knocked down. Except during Bull Rush and Star Punch. Which made this fight a nightmare when I was a kid, because I was not very good at the Bull Rush charge. Oh, so we're back to the one punch. Like, okay, it's only one punch from the, the straight jab this time. And I like how he's mixing up. It's like jab, hook, jab, hook. He like is going in between. But I gotta stun on I don't know, maybe I'm just mistiming it. Maybe if you time it really well you can get multiple punches on the jab. But if you're slow. You only end up netting the one. Cool, there's my star punch, and you are going down, Mr. Bull. Usually not too much trouble with him. Like, Popinski is my big trouble. Popinski, Dom Flamenco 2 is my, like, ultra nemesis. <laughs> and then Macho Man. <laughs> Thank you for my star punch again. I'll take another one. Wow, wow, hold on, did you see that? Like, that was like a glitch. I don't know if that's because, like, a leftover from the programming. Oh shit, oh shit. There we go. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's like a leftover from, like, the, the reprogramming of his moves, but, like, I, he, his hand was, like, stuck. Like, it looked like he was just frozen in that punch. I don't know, maybe you guys gotta backtrack. Do a rewind feature Reno here. 
and check out that, because that was kind of weird. And good night, Mr. Bull. Usually not a problem for me, and not a problem in this version either. In fact, he may be also a bit easier. I couldn't really tell a whole lot of difference as far as like any kind of timing or more aggressiveness. But this son of a bitch, this son of a bitch, his like perma loop fucking nyah, 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 is like the worst freaking thing in this in this game, man. Worst thing about this game. Fine, good. Just keep doing that. I will gladly take uppercuts. I can, I can, da I can dodge those. Got yeah, nice timing on them. Wow. Okay. Not doing it yet. I, I. Okay. Cool. And good down. Okay. Awesome. He didn't do it at all. That'd be freaking sweet. It would be absolutely amazing if, like, the edit to this game was he got rid of that. Like, got rid of the perma loop. <clears throat> I hate that so much. I got, I've got, i gotten better at the timing of it over the years so I can get out of it so he will do the uppercut, but it's still so annoying. Yeah, maybe he got rid of it because he's not doing it at all. He's just doing, like, normal attacks, making this fight, like, a freaking breeze in comparison to... Normal punch out here. Night. Wow. I never, ever am even close to beating Don Flamenco in the first round. Like, that never happens. Usually I'm lucky if I can even get a second knockdown of him in, in normal Mike Tyson's punch out. But I'm going to get a freaking TKO in the first round pretty early on in the first round in comparison to a lot of what I do. Shoo. Okay, I will gladly take that. Bring on Sam, man, who I have, uh, I've kind of gotten really good at. There's a couple of tricks with Sam, man, to make him very, very easy to tangle with. I have no idea if that's going to help me here, though. I like the, uh, the tan trunks on him here. I'm very bad at missing- oh wow, okay, so he- there's a change right there, okay, instead of doing a whole lot of the twirl punch, after only two of them, he went into a hook, which, uh, caught me completely off guard there. Yeah, throwing in the, the hooks pretty early on, that's, uh, that's messing with me. Oh, I was expecting the uppercut there, he didn't do it though. Oh, nice, there, now we're good. Cool. This is how you beat him, once you get into the point where he's doing the hooks a lot, if you punch him in the head, he'll dodge immediately, and then you can dodge to the left or right, get out of the way, and then boom, get right into a punch combo. If you've ever had, like, problems with Mr. Sandman, that's the best strategy. Is once he gets after he does the twirl jabs for a period of time, he'll then just go to that, like, constant hooks, and you can just bait him into a really nice loop. It'll take a while to drain the health. Um, there is a strategy to draining more health. If you, like, delay usually the third punch, because you deliver three to the gut, if you delay that third punch, like, a half a second or something, or time it right, you can do a little bit more damage than if you just straight mash it. Uh, but the timing on it's very weird. It's the only way to beat Sandman, uh, by TKO in the, in the first round. Because I, and I've only done it one time ever. Once, like I said, once we get him in this loop, <laughs> I, I want to wait to the second round. I'm going to intentionally not knock him down again for that second time. That way I can easily knock him down at the beginning of the, uh, of the second round here. Cool, and I can go right into the loop again, and boom, he's down for the first time in the second round. He's gonna probably get up pretty quickly. Now, once you make it to the second round and knock down Sandman, every time he gets back up, he goes right into the flash uppercuts, which do a ton of damage, of course. You can always test it out, too, if he's about to do it, because if you try to punch him in the head now, during, like, when he's dancing, and he blocks it, instead of doing the dodge into the hook, you know the, uh, the flash uppercuts are coming. You can see right now here, 
He's going right back into the hook combo. Nice. So, now one more time, he's gonna get up, he's gonna go right into the flash uppercuts, and as long as I can dodge that... I've also heard if you do just right or left hand after the flash uppercuts... There we go. Nice. Like, if you just do like right, I'm doing the right hand constantly, I heard you can do more damage? I don't know if that's true, but that's what someone told me while I was streaming it one night. Nice, TKO. Now, now, the real fun begins as we go and move on to Super Macho Man, who is my arch, arch nemesis, because of one move and one move only. Of course, everyone immediately thinks the, you know, the jump back and then do the twirls multiple times. No, that's not what kills me with Macho Man. It's the quick one, where instead of jumping back and doing it, he just delays and then does a really quick spin punch that doesn't knock you down instantly like the other one, but it does a ton of damage. Wow, immediately I miss with the upper. I miss <laughs> the first one. This is going to go well. Okay, come on, you bastard. So this is the easy part of the fight. See, right here, he's gonna, like, here, this is what I'm talking about, it's like, when he do- Okay! Never mind, I guess in this version they programmed him not to do the, the quick spin, or at least not the first time. I like you, game, I like this version. <laughs> they got rid of the quick spin. I'm sure the other perm, the instant knockdown spin is in here. Wow, that made this, okay, that's gonna make this thing a whole lot easier. Holy crap, is that gonna make it a lot easier? Ah, there we go. See, a lot of people, of course, have problems with that uppercut. You know, that spin punch that instantly knocks you down. It's, obviously, it's timing, but it's specific timing. It's not just keep mashing left, like, or, you know, the dodge it. You, what you need to time is hit, like, left, and you wait, like, a second, and then press left again. It's weird to kind of explain it through a video. But I've gotten really used to it. Like, I usually hit left, lift my finger off the button completely, then hit left again. And then, like, if you do it in a nice little thing, like a nice little rhythm, instead of just matching it, you'll have a better chance of, uh, dodging the constant spin punches. Is he gonna do it again? So in, every time you knock him down, he's gonna- okay. You can see with my timing, I always end up going at least one extra. Sometimes I'll go two extra by accident and end up missing my opportunity to hit him. Damn it, I don't want to get knocked down here. Do not- okay, cool, I survived the round. Like I said, Macho Man, I always have problems with. Then again, I'm sure I'm not the only one out there who has problems with Super Macho Man. Oh, wow, that was a nice health. That was the best health uh, regen we've had in the whole the whole time. Go right back into the uppercuts. Perfectly fine with me. Like, all this is fine. I, I can dodge his uppercuts all day long. They do not bother me. In the slightest. Uh, <laughs> there we go, okay, so, he, yeah, I guess they, uh, whoever, the, the ROM hacking creator of this, in particular, uh, you, uh, you have, uh, my support and my praise for eliminating that terrible punch. Thankfully, I was able to get rid of that one, too. Yeah, like I said, the flash spin one, the instant not- What the hell was that? Does he know- I don't remember- I like, get maybe he does. I, I don't remember that ever happening. Like, I don't remember that little, like, squat uppercut that he just did, that little dance. Whatever, he's about to go down again. Ah, damn it. There we go. One more time, and I have, like, a minute to do it. I should be able to... Should be able to do this. Come on, wait for it. Um, now. Whew. I, see? I don't. And there's that, that squat. That weird squat dance. I don't know what the hell's up with that. Like I told you, sometimes I'll accidentally dodge extra and end up missing my opportunity because I get, like, in a rhythm, like a, like a trance. <laughs> While staring at it, I'm like, must dodge. <laughs> Woo! 
Okay, Tyson time, which like I said, the ROM hack said specifically, Mike Tyson's a lot easier. And if that is true, then I uh, will be a happy camper and we will probably be beating him. I always love the music here during this little segment. Like, this is my favorite part, like, the whole game. Especially with the weird myth, like, Daddy, come back home! And it's like Mario on the side, like, he's abandoned his daughter. That's what I always thought. I'm like, what, what, what? Mario has a, Mario has a kid? Like, what, what's going on? Ah, Kid Dynamite Mike Tyson. There are so many gamers today that still have not completed the original Mike Tyson's Punch-Out due to getting the Tyson and never being able to beat him. If these flash uppercuts, and he usually does like a minute or more of these flash uppercuts. What? Okay, there you go. Only 30 seconds of them. There was like, what, five? Four? Four flash uppercuts? Because if they hit you, it's instantly knocked down. You're instantly knocked down if the flash uppercuts hit you. Now he just wants to do the wink job here. Give him a wink job. I can do I can dodge these all day. These these are nothing. They still do damage. They still do a decent amount of damage when they hit you, but I can dodge this. I can do this. This is good. Yeah, just keep this up, Tyson. Just keep winking at me and trying to jab. Wow, and that did like no damage too. Did like nothing. Yeah, Tyson's Tyson's nerfed. They nerfed Tyson. <laughs> they weren't kidding with that. Still takes a while to knock him down though, because you get so few punches in him, but. Yeah, come on, there we go. Timing has to be pretty precise still though. If you you're like off a little bit, he'll end up blocking it. God, you gotta love that sprite face. <laughs> Tyson's face while you're doing like a combo to him, like when he's stunned, is just hilarious. That is just absolutely amazing. Okay, round two, Tyson. Watch him start off with like two minutes of flash uppercuts. <laughs> nope, he goes right for the blinking star punch, which if you know when he does that, you can get a star punch from him, but he's going to immediately do a combo of jabs, so you have to immediately duck, or you know, block him. But that did a lot of damage. Phew! Whew. One knockdown. Get on up. Come on. Boop, boop. Like I said, if he keeps doing the uh, little the winking, he will go down eventually. Oh, okay. Wow! Okay, the uppercut didn't knock me down. It did like no damage, too. Uh, this is like a joke now in comparison to the real <laughs> This is like Mike Tyson like you know like the fifth this is like the fifth generation Tyson like <laughs> He's been genetically cloned multiple times, and he's no longer the the feared fighter. He used to be We got this. It may take round three, though. Come on. One more, one more, one more! Yeah, oh, look at that! 259 on the dot! Like, one ha like, a millisecond later, that bell was ringing. Woot! I am the champion! No one- Mike Tyson's never seen finger speed like that before. I always thought that was- that, that always sounds dirty when you think about it. I've never seen such finger speed before. Mm-hmm. I bet you haven't, Mike. I bet you haven't. Okay, so... Uh, overall, it's a pretty fun ROM hack. I have the, I will recommend it to people that just want the satisfaction of actually knocking down Tyson. <laughs> because it's very easy to do in this version in comparison to regular Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. That is for, for darn sure. Um, other than that, it's kind of... Like, it's hard to hack Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I've seen a few ROM hacks out there uh, in the past. Uh, and they've, some of them have changed the characters up, but you can clearly see that they're still, like, the same patterns and same animations as the regular fighters, so... It's one of those games that's really, really hard, um, to 
kind of hack and actually make an interesting, completely different kind of ROM hack. Uh, I love Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I love the Punch Out series. Of course, I will always wish there was more, like, whatever. I'm surprised, like, some of the indie studio didn't, like, start making some of them. Because they can't, you know, take the, just the premise and, and make a few of them. The last kind, like, there's a few out there that are actually decent Punch Out clones, but there's not that many. Like, the one that rem I always think of was, like, Wade Hickston's. Something like that. Boxing for the Game Boy Advance was, like, the weirdest. And there was also a game called Animal Boxing on the Nintendo DS. There's, like, two of the ones that come to mind. Uh, but anyway, guys, that will wrap up this episode of First Play. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.